hey hey you are here with dave pose i had to give you guys a breakdown of the monstrous work that denise dugan just dropped she goes before this board she actually changes the ways that things are done they respect her already she's dropped law before but she tells them she needs extra time to talk to them about the constitutions first of all guys normal people don't even do that they just go there and take the two minutes she asks for more time the board votes to give her more time that is powerful and abnormal then she goes into the real law starts breaking stuff down hitting them with facts that other people don't do you can see the confidence she has the power the truth she was revealing and then look at what happens at the end how are the people affected and how is the board affected pay attention to the psychology this girl is out here winning let's get it y'all check this out it's going to be fire and last uh, blue card we have is miss denise dugan welcome denise thank you i come in peace just like i had the last few times i've been here and i would like to ask the board kindly I have some educational materials of our founding documents and the original Pennsylvania Constitution. And there's just uh, some provisions that I would like to read because this is all missing from our curriculums right now. And I would like to ask if you would give me an additional three minutes to speak because some of the provisions are long. And I just wanted to give a brief overview and see so if I'll we can reintroduce I'll... some of this into our curriculums as an idea as a community as a whole okay you're asking for an additional three minutes i'm going to ask all the members of the board if they if, if they're interested in allowing miss dugan an additional three minutes mr stoltenberg no mrs crescenzi yes 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 sure mrs tierney I would ask Ms. Dugan to please speak up. Please speak up. Speak okay. Okay. You have an additional three minutes, so you have a total of six minutes. Okay. At the, at the, at the, Is that better? At the of the board. We're, we're breaking protocol a little bit here, but it's been a crazy night. You, well, have, you have six minutes. Okay, thank okay, you very much. Minutes. He's at 49 seconds right now. I'm sorry, five minutes. So it already started. Okay, yeah. I didn't even get the permission. All right, great. Um, okay, so... I would like to start with how the people uh, originally created the constitutions and we instituted government. So our forefathers were so brilliant, they left us everything that we need to say as free people in a constitutional republic, not a democracy, okay? And the people <clears throat> hold all the power and we also, with that power, were given duties to as trust protectors of the trust of the Constitution. And when you all, as public servants and trustees, swear an oath to the Pennsylvania and the U.S. Constitutions, you become a trust indentured servant. So that means you have a contract with the people, okay? You guys are here to take care of business for us, make sure things are running smoothly. You're our trustees and public servants, okay? The people hold all the power, and I'm about to read that in both constitutions. The original constitution of Pennsylvania was just found uh, in September. So uh, there's a lot that has not been taught in our public schools, and when I was in school, this was not taught. So I'm just curious, um, you know, how many constitutions do we have? Does anybody know? Anybody on the board now? You're going to tell us. 51, including the federal. Okay. So we're going to read uh, Pennsylvania Article 1, Section 2. All power is inherent in the people, which means it comes from God. No one's ever taken it away. And all free government is founded on our authority and instituted for our peace, safety, and happiness. For the advancement of these ends, they have at all times an inalienable which means it can never also be taken away. Indefeasible, cannot be disputed. 
right to alter, reform, or abolish their government in such manner as they may think proper. Okay, so these are living and breathing documents. This is historical documents that we are to be using and utilizing as a constitutional republic. So when you guys go outside your trust indenture and bring in all the health and safety policies that are below constitutional law um, and try to bring, well, not try, you're, you're forcing to bring in things that the parents are, you know, continuously objecting to, uh, you know, now you're getting your, your, your third notice of maladministration and malfeasance because you have been served twice, put on alert, that, hey, this is where you're trampling, this is where you swore an oath not to do that and protect our inherent rights that are declared in writing in each state constitution, okay? And the right to an education is considered a liberty that is a fundamental right, where public servants make public accommodations for the people's protection, safety, and happiness. In the process of making accommodations as public servants and trustees, you may never abrogate inherent rights by any policy, including any and all healthy safety plans, rules, or law. Miranda versus Arizona. Um, <clears throat> Where rights secured by the Constitution are involved, there can be no rulemaking or legislation that would abrogate them. So whether the solicitors writing the policies here and the solicitors in our govern each branch of our government are writing our legislation instead of our legislators, it's all unlawful. Because if anything is not in pursuance of these constitutions, any policy, act, rule, safety, health policy, I don't care what it is. If it is not in pursuance of our inherent rights and it comes against us and trespasses against us, it's null and void on its face. And there are many maxims of law to support that. One minute left. So, you know, we really want to work with you guys and support you as public servants uh, so, you know, our kids are thriving. We don't want to fight. We don't want to argue. Um, we really don't want to do that. We don't have the energy for it. We want to see our kids thriving. Um, so instead of bringing in all this other emotional curriculum and creating all these emotional problems with the transgender spectrum, instead of just, uh, you know, there's two genders that God created, and you, we don't have God in our schools anymore, as Christy stated earlier, and that's a huge problem. We are going way off in the weeds spiritually and allowing all these nefarious things to come into our schools. And you guys have the power to stop it. So we're counting on you to honor your oath, do the right thing by the children, and you won't, you won't get this kind of pushback. You won't get served uh, legal notices, you know, three in a row. Okay, please wrap up so, the um, I would like to thank you for giving me the extra time to speak. And I appreciate the good things that are happening, but I would really love to see more open conversations with the, you know, uh, for the public good with, with you, with the board. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. Okay. All right, guys, so now you see Denise Dugan dropping hot smoke and fire. Notice that the crowd uh, gave her an ovation uh, after she got done. Understand, guys, that the people are really motivated and excited and uh, empowered when someone comes and speaks. Another thing you got to see is the first time Denise went into teaching the way that she does that most people in the world would never do. She was a little nervous and you can hear it in her voice. But if you pay attention now, she has slowed down. She's comfortable with the material. She's teaching them. She's dropping fact on top of fact. Now what you're gonna find out happens in the future is it's going to break down the whole board's power. It, you're gonna see more people come. You're gonna see more people do this around the nation. I don't believe I've seen anybody lay things out so clearly and so calmly um, from a position of authority like Denise did. This girl is on another level. This is the real deal Holofield stuff. This is how you take back republics. This is mighty and powerful. Just wanted to share this with you guys. I am so elated by the powerful work she's doing. And this video is yours. The people win again. Oh, 
And look at the fact they voted to give her extra time. That was smoke. Love y'all. Peace.